Today we're going to be talking about the Black Cat 4s. I'm going to be using errors from 2006 all the way up to 2020. So let's go ahead and open up this box and start breaking these shoes down. What's happening? How you guys doing? How you been? If you did not know, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! Now today we're going to be talking about these Black Cat 4s, but I want to do it with a bit of a twist. I want to take it back in time and talk about the different style that they now have on this version from 2006 to 2020. That's a big jump in time, so I'm pretty sure they've made some tweaks over those years. So let's go ahead and get to unboxing this shoe first. We'll look at it just a little bit, talk about the past, and then we can start going into depth about the shoes. And the shoes that we're going to be using today, actually, before we even get started with that, I'm going to be using the 2019 Cool Gray 4s and Bread 4s and then an 06 Lightning 4. I do not have my old Black Cat 4s anymore from 2006. I sold those to Wilson Chandler a few years back and uh, I just never ended up getting up another pair because I had a feeling they would end up coming out again, which they did and I ended up picking up three pairs on the drop day. So. I'm very happy and excited to open these up. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Typically you see the red Jumpman with the white flight and a black top. Here it's all murdered out, triple black. So you got a metallic Jumpman, a metallic flight, and a black top. I think this is a very dope touch and it's gonna look really nice in the sneaker collection. The tags look pretty much identical from the previous releases. Everybody knows they already came out. So I don't need to tell you much about that. But if you did end up picking up a pair, drop a comment down below and let me know if you thought it was worth the $190 or not. So normally on the box, you have your all over cement print around the side of the box. And then here on this one, you still have the same thing, but it's black and metallic at the same time. That is also another very dope hit to me. Just overall, from the get go, looking at the box and everything, I'm happy. Now let's go ahead and get into the shoes and see how we feel about those. Okay, opening the box up, we have our classic black paper that they've been doing over the years, kind of plasticky vibe when it comes to that paper. Now, ooh, the shoe, oh baby. Let's get into these because honestly, from the first look, I'm not sure how I feel about these actually. This is gonna be an interesting review. There's like dope parts and weird parts. So let's uh let's check these joints out. Okay, so we have the Black Cat 4 right here. And I have three different shoes that I feel like are very comparable to this sneaker. Obviously not the color blocking, we understand that. But I wanna talk about the cuts, the materials, and the full shape of the shoe because I feel like that plays a factor on how we can compare this one to a past pair like a 2006 era or something similar to the 2019 retros that have previously released in the past year. So let's go ahead and start with the description of this shoe and then we can kind of compare it to different things that I see match towards this sneaker. Starting with the outsole, you have a triple black outsole with a white Jumpman. This is also similar to the 2006 Black Cat 4 that came out. So with that part, I'm happy that they kept it the same. Going into the midsole, the black paint is a little bit more of a metallic vibe when it comes to it, not as matte. And it sticks out a little bit more, but it also matches with the nets. This one that I actually have a problem with because the nets where they intersect with each other, they kind of have like this little nipple to them <laughs> in between each and every part of the intersection. So the nets on this 2020 pair is very, very different from the 2006, but it also is very similar to the 2019 retro. But if you look at the 2006 pair here, it's very flush, it's very flat, very clean, and it's tight, it's on the shoe. You can see that there's not really too much wiggle room between there. As compared to here, it's very loose, there's a lot of room for the net to move, and it's not as tight. So I think that is just something when it comes to mass producing a sneaker, you know, I'm. Sh Obviously, there was way less of this version than there was of that version. And there can be some inconsistencies when it comes to a shoe like this. So I can understand why that happened. But this is, again, just a comparison to show you guys the differences between that part. Everybody wants to know about the toe boxes because, as we know, back in the day, the toe boxes were a lot more sleek right here. And as the years went on, they got more boxy and pointed up like this, as you can see from the bread. So now when I look at this toe box, it's kind of mixed. It's kind of sleek a little bit and it sticks up just a little bit. So it's in between. It's got that wiggle room. It's like it's almost sleek. It's almost boxy. I feel like they did a better job on it and it might just look that way just because the shoe is all black as well because sometimes that takes some of those imperfections out of the shoe when everything just meshes together like this. Now taking it to the eyelids and the nubuck arm on the side of the foot, that one is going to be the same as the lightnings or as the cool grays. The bread fours 
have a plastic piece here, but all these ones have a new buck side on it. So I feel like they did all right. It has the exposed lining right here where it looks kind of white on this area, but that's like the only part of the shoe where it's like that. Again, I'm sure that's just from production and all those different things, so we can't really complain too much about that. Overall, I'm not really mad at the sneaker. Again, I would prefer the 2006 pair, but they did a solid job so far just looking at the shoe. I think the biggest thing though is looking here on the back tab and then the tongue. So let's take it into the back tab just for a second. I wanna show you guys the differences between the 2019 Cool Gray and the 2020 Black Cat 4. So when you look at the heel right here, you can see that everything is set inside and cut around the Jumpman, and then the piece is sticking out away from the shoe. Now when you look at it here, on the Lightning and the Black Cat from back in the day, you can see that the piece was cut out a little bit more and there was a gap between the arm and the leg here. And then also it was more smooth here, not sticking out from the shoe. So I don't know if it's because the plastic is thicker or they set it farther back, whatever you may call it. But as you can see, there is a difference in the heel, the way they stitched it, the way they put that together. So do you guys feel that it was more clean, more efficient this way or more this way? I personally think that they did actually a better job on the heel with the newer version because they eliminated that gap and put that seam line in there between the heel. But again, these are a lot of big detailed things and stuff like that. But that's what I kind of wanted to do is break these down and show you guys the little details behind these shoes. Something that somebody hasn't shown you guys yet on another channel. And I wanted to show you guys those little things. Now on the topic of another detail, what I have noticed is the tongue is very, very thick. It is very bold, it's very prominent, and I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about that. Because when I look at the 2006 and even the earlier 2019 bread for, they have a very slim, a very thin, a very classic OG look when it comes to the tongue, the cut, and the feel of the tongue. Now it's kind of thin right here and you can kind of feel your fingers pushing together, but it has that cool vibe because that's just the classic old school vibe when it comes to it. The Cool Gray 4 gets a little bit thicker and that's when I kind of got a little bit weird about it because there's like space between it and when you push it, you can feel like the glue or something in between there kind of sticking on the materials. Now when you get to this one, it's like very padded, very thick, and I'm not exactly sure why they went with that. It has a thicker ankle and it has a thicker tongue. It almost kind of got that SB vibe when it comes to it. And I'm not exactly sure where they're going with this. I hope that they don't do this on every other Jordan 4 from here on out because this tongue is the classic tongue. This is the tongue that we want. So Jordan brand, please don't do this on any other ones. I'm gonna let you guys slide this time though. It's all right, I'll let y'all slide. Stop it. So now taking it into the, one of the final things that I've noticed about the shoe was there was no black cat logoing or branding. They just went triple black on the sneaker and triple black on the box. There was no special card or hang tag or anything that said black cat. Usually when they have something based around like a story or whatever it may be, they usually have something to go with it, but they didn't have anything to go with this one. So I'm kind of confused about that one because I don't remember if the black, I know the black cat three for sure had it, but I cannot remember if the black cat four had it stitched on the back as well like they did on the black cat three. Can you let me know down below in the comment section? Cause I don't remember if the 2006 black cat four had the black cat logoing on the back of the shoe. I just can't remember. So please drop a comment down below and let me know about that one because I'm forgetting right now. I'm sorry I'm drawing a blank, but please help me out with that one. So that comes my next question. How do you guys feel about these? Were these a cop? Were they a drop? Let's go check Instagram real quick and see what everybody said on there. So 84% says fire, 16% says trash. Well, that's what Instagram said. Let's see what YouTube says. Let me know what you guys think about these down below. Were these a cop, were they a drop, were they dope, were they a note, whatever you like to call them. I don't know, everybody got their little slang for it. So I hope that gave you guys a good look in comparison between these different sneakers. Obviously didn't want to take too much time going too much in depth, but I definitely wanted to show you guys a couple things that I thought stood out to me when it comes to this new version. Again, I ended up picking up three pairs of them and I obviously think it is worth that, but that's just me because I know that these are gonna rock from now and later and I'm gonna be able to pull another pair out years from now and still have them on ice because I feel like they'll go up in value. Uh, I don't think it'll be crazy in value, but you know, maybe 300, somewhere around there over time, it might hit that price. But again, that's gonna take some time. So if you think it was a cop or you plan on rocking those anytime soon, let me know down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. Oh, wait. Hold on.
Like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I'm gone. Peace.